Have you managed to master a new skill during lockdown or just left it until, well, maybe next week? In Pakistan, where they've had several localised lockdowns, one young man has taken to the streets of Peshawar in bowler hat and coat tails. And Rani Singh has been watching Pakistan's very own Charlie Chaplin impersonator. Leaping into a passing rickshaw, he tickles the rider with a hooked cane. Waddling along in a black bowler hat, black bow tie and black coattails, he stands out from the locals in their pale or cream long shirts and scarves and billowing trousers. Western clothes are sometimes frowned on here, the dusty streets of Pakistan's northwest frontier town, Peshawar. But the comedy actor we're watching seems exempt from all of that. It's Charlie Chaplin, or at least a modern impersonator seemingly teleported from 1921 British film studios to the streets of 2021 Pakistan. Osman Khan's costume, his serious baby face, black toothbrush moustache and dark eyeliner make him look just like the silent comedy star. He's 30 now. He grew up watching Chaplin's films, copying every mime. He patched together his costume with scraps and cast-offs. Khan and his friends shoot in the offices of kindly media folk, back streets and quiet parks where he shuffles along, bow-legged like a penguin. I want to make sad people happy in this time of coronavirus, he tells me in Urdu, in one of our morning talks, before setting off for a day of Chaplinesque fun. Pakistan suffered one of the highest infection rates in South Asia. It was a long period of pandemic isolation that inspired Khan to take up his Charlie act. The Pakistani lockdown was tough, he says. The police beat us up if we went outside. But staying in all day, he got depressed. So Khan watched his most loved Chaplin videos in bed on a small DVD player or on his mobile. Khan modelled his version of Charlie on the tramp, his favourite Chaplin character from the Gold Rush. And he's got the movements, the shoulder shrug, the head tilt to the left and the head tilt to the right. He can do the tricks. Khan will hold you with his eyes and his mournful face. Meantime, his cane handle slyly swings up and taps you on the cheek, tickles you under the chin, unhooks your bag from under your arm or knocks over your cup of tea. He'll play table tennis with that cane. He tips over piles of stuff in shops, then drops to the floor, crawls through the legs of actor bystanders, while shopkeepers in on the act pretend to get cross. Whoop! He'll slide down a staircase holding on to his hat, then jump up like a gymnast. It's chaotic fun, with set pieces scripted and rehearsed. He doesn't charge for his shows. Just like Chaplin, Khan had mushkilat, Struggles as a child, he tells me. His father, a clothes seller, couldn't support the family. So when Khan was ten, he had to leave Peshawar and go to work in a distant town, running a stall and living with five other kids, selling clothes, bubble gum, and biscuits. Bubble gum and biscuits were all he had to eat. He was sad, he missed his parents, so he came back home. Then he tried running a toy store, but no one bought anything. And despite his new fame, he still faces challenges. He supports his old sick parents and new wife of eight months on around $110 a month, earned from the odd social media royalty. His friends record his black-and-white videos with piano-led orchestral soundtracks. That's what he spends his spare rupees on. Once Usman Khan went viral, appearing on social networks and then international news media, the state government arranged a photo op with local cameramen and offered him a salaried job. But there's been no follow-up, and he's still broke, he says. But he's starting to get paid gigs in big cities like Karachi. The actor dreams of being spotted by a TV or film producer and of getting rich. If that happens, he claims, he'll share his money with the poor. He's also talking about how artists, actors and comedians have suffered during Covid. There's a lot of creative talent here in Pakistan, he tells me. I had to work really hard to stand out. Usman Khan's story shows the best and the worst of Pakistan. 
But hardship, as both Charlie Chaplin and Usman Khan discovered, can breed invention and at least raise a smile, even if it's only for a little while. <laughs>